Hello beautiful people, the other morning I was very lucky to get up with a beautiful sunshine in our base of the south coast. So I decided to video this uh, 10 minute morning routine outside and um, next to the airport. So I actually stopped the background sound because we could hear the planes. But despite this, the sunshine was amazing and I hope that you will enjoy this video. So when you're ready, just roll out your mat and just come to place yourself at the edge, bringing the big toes touching, finding your gaze at the front of the mat. And then starting to breathe in and out through the nose as always, creating this conscious breath. Observing the inhale, bringing you length. And the exhale, helping you to ground and release any tension that you may have. Take a deep breath in and extend the arms overhead as you look through the thumbs and exhale, releasing the arms by your side. We do this two more times. Deep breath in as you breathe, expanding through the ribcage and deep breath out. One last one, deep breath in, look through the thumbs and exhale, release the arms. Come and take your feet hip widths parallel with each other with the outside, really grounding yourself fully. Take a deep breath in as you expand the arms overhead, shoulder widths apart, and as you exhale, just come to twist, opening to your right, looking over to the right hand. Inhale, extend the arms overhead, and exhale as you rotate to your left side, looking to your left hand. Inhale up, exhale, rotate to the right, inhale up, exhale, rotate to the left. We'll have one more on each side, inhale, exhale, inhale, expand and exhale as you twist. Inhale, bring the arms up. And this time, open your arms in cactus, really pulling the back muscle down toward your hips, toward each other. Create strength to really open the posture and open the heart space, just welcoming the sunshine. And as you exhale, just find a forward fold. You can bend your knees if you need here. First forward fold in the morning, you may feel stiff, so just paddling the feet, the knees, the hips in any way that feels right to you. On your inhale, lift the heart and step back to your first downward dog. Just hanging into this downward dog, feet hipwards, parallel with the outside. And then anchoring the hands really wide into the fingertips, nice and grounded. Keeping the head long, just gazing towards the navel. Starting to bring the awareness into the lower abdomen. Beautiful. As you breathe in, just start to look forward and just come to place yourself to a high plank and step the right foot forward in between your hands. Drop the back knee down, inhale as you expand the arms overhead, exhale as you pull the elbows back into the side, inhale, arms up. Exhale to your cactus arms again. Inhale, expand. Exhale, pull and open the heart. Inhale, release your hands back down to the floor. And then from here, straightening this front leg. Exhale as you straighten it. Inhale as you come back to your lunge. Exhale, straighten. Inhale to your lunge. One last time. And then with your next exhalation, ground the back foot. Find your warrior two, looking forward to the right hand. Every time you breathe in, see if you can maybe sink down a little bit lower, really tucking the pelvis under, grounding the tailbone down towards the floor. 
be active through the feet. Take a deep breath in. Expand the arm overhead, reversing your warrior. Expanding the side of the body, creating space for your lungs to expand. And as you exhale, come to your extended. Release your hands down to the floor and come to your downward dog. Beautiful, just settling in here. Gazing to the navel, breathing. Just hear the little sounding breath at the back of the throat. Still, focused. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Next inhale, come to your high plank and then step your left foot forward as you drop the back knee down, sinking the hips down. As you breathe in, expand the arms. As you breathe out, pull the elbows down and back. Inhale. Exhale, open the heart. Inhale again. And exhale, pull. Wonderful. Inhale, extend. And then release your hands to the floor. From this position, again, take any inhale to your high lunge. Exhale as you come and straighten this front leg. Not forcing. Inhale forward and exhale as you straighten. Of course, keep your knee bent if it's too intense. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back to this lunge position. And exhale one last time. Wonderful. From this lunge, take an inhale, ground the back foot 45 degree angle. Come back up as you look forward to your left hand and settle into this strong warrior two. Virabhadrasana two. Keep gazing forward to the front hand, trying to lengthen from one hand to the other, always creating more space between each joint, each extremity of the body. Take an inhale as you reverse your warrior, looking up, creating space to the left side of the body this time. And then with your next exhalation, rotate your hands back down to the floor and come back to your downward dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Try to keep the space between the shoulder blades as you hold here. Little tuck of the chin. Look forward in between your hands and just slowly walk the feet one at a time to the front of your mat. Take an inhale as you lengthen and exhale as you fold. Again, bend the knees if you need. On your inhalation, make your way all the way up. Arms overhead, look through the thumbs. And exhale, release your arms by your side. Have a little shoulder roll here. Being steady, gazing forward to come to a little balance pose. Hands to hips, right knee comes up. Inhale, extend the arms overhead. Exhale, sit all your hands to heart center. Find strength into the standing glute, the standing hip. Keeping the gaze still, the awareness into your center of gravity. And slowly make your way to a Virabhadrasana 3, your warrior 3. In this one, I like to explore the lift of the heart and the back leg to find a slight back bend into this balanced posture. But if you feel like today to focus on alignment, you could just flex the back foot and find your body parallel to the ground. Inhale, try to transition smoothly as you come back up and find your tree pose. Again, you can bring your hands to heart center, pressing the foot and the leg against each other and trying to actively open into the right hip. Keeping the shoulders relaxed, we'll just find the strength from the lower abdomen down to the foot. Inhale, we'll take one last posture, this time pressing your right foot on top of your left knee, flexing this right foot, and then bringing your hips back to seat, 
Maybe you want to release your elbows onto your foot. Maybe you just keep them up for foot so that you create more strength. Nice release deep into this right hip. Best you can, keep your spine long. Inhale as you come back up and release down. We'll do the same to the other side. Ground the right foot. Left leg comes up, hands to hips. Inhale, expand the arms overhead and exhale as you place your hands to heart center in front of your chest. Find the lift of the pelvic floor and the action of the lower abdomen. As you exhale, find your way to Virabhadrasana 3, exploring the same option you did to the other side. Again, lengthening from the crown of the head to the back foot. Focused, gaze still on the ground. Make sure you're still breathing in here. Slowly transitioning your way back up. As you come to Vrakasana, your tree pose on the other side. You can either place your foot down, one inside of your calf, or maybe higher up like me, underneath the pubic bone. As always, just listening to your own body. Wonderful. Transitioning to this nice, deep hip and glute stretch, placing ankle on top of your knee, Sitting back until you find enough stretch. Hands to heart center or exploring any other variation that you may want to do. Beautiful, guys. Take one more deep breath. And then with your next inhalation, just very slowly make your way back up. Extend the arms of the head, bring the knee forward and release the foot back down. Wonderful. Wishing it finish up with a little flow. Inhale as you expand the arms of the head, looking up. Exhale as you release the arms to your side and down to the floor to Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, lift the heart space, look for a long spine and exhale, stepping back to your high plank position. We'll lower to Chaturanga, you can drop your knees if you need, all the way or halfway, you really decide where you want to be. Inhale to either Cobra or Upward Dog and then exhale, reverse the feet, come back to a Downward Dog position. Few deep breath into this last downward dog, enjoying this energy of the morning, soaking in the sunshine, even if it's through the video. I hope it really brings you joy and positive energy for your day. Looking forward to slowly walk the feet to the front. Inhale as you lengthen and exhale as you fold. Inhale, deep inhalation, really expand, reach up. And exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Thanking yourself for this short but positive practice to bring you focus and energy. Just feeling grateful to have this quiet time for yourself. I really hope you've enjoyed this little morning practice and I wish you all a wonderful day. Namaste. If you have enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would like, comment and share this video with a friend as well as subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for your support. Bye bye.